looks like there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We can't go any further. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here, right? Traveler, looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode. Don't waste your time. Huh? Conria's technology, abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. <laughs> They're just cheap tricks to me. Okay, so the Abyss Order really is trying to hide something here, right? Hmm. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. Not necessarily. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude that these ruins belong to a more ancient civilization still. The Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Even older than Kanria? Whoa. Pyron can't even imagine back that far. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Kanria. At least, it would if it were the other way up. Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. What's the hurry? Ah, Black Serpent Knights! Is this where they're based? Or wait, are they guarding something here? We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. Let the show begin. Freeze! Frostbite. Hey, look! Vines! You should be able to climb up, right? Hold on, I think they... trying to hide. Huh? What's this? So, the Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these hilly churls? As I said, for these hilly churls, the end is nigh. They have grown old and fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them. But why would the Black Serpent Knights want to stay here and guard them? <laughs> More of them are closing in! Dan? Whoa, whoa, what? You recognize him? Could it be? If it's as I suspect, then this 
is a truly tragic state of affairs. Dane? You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the hilly churls, don't you? It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. The one who ordered them to retreat just now, I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man, an elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. So, he's from 500 years ago, too? To this day, I still remember the final orders. I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanlia. Before I made haste back to the palace, inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference against the might of the gods. The only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. These Black Serpent Knights have lost their intellect. But perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly, I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat and more of a warning. Then what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon had them all wrong. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. <laughs> 